Hello everybody, my name is Arika, I'm playing some Sumo Tori Dreams. Um, I've played a little this I've played this a little bit, but it crashed a lot and now uh, I'm just gonna try something different. Let's see here. The default dojo, let's that that sounds like a good place to start, right? A me versus computer. Let's see here, okay. So this seems pretty standard. I think I can handle this. So welcome to the Sumo Tari Dream Tournament. Today we have the blue guy fighting the gray guy. And uh, the blue guy is off to a wonderful start using his superior technique and tactic to trumble over the, the gray guy. The gray guy is having immense trouble standing up. He seems to, to have a slight a slight retardation or maybe a lack of chromosomes might be the reason and the blue guy is concentrating all his energy what is he doing he's he's doing a jump oh what is doing oh my god he is barely maintaining balance you can do it blue guy we believe in oh. well this fight is uh, is growing a little stale here that in the tournament uh, the blue guy seems to be practicing his jump ability while the white guy is he's basically flopping around more than he's participating in this this tournament in this fight the white guy is having some very very big motor difficulties and um, the blue guy seems to be the master of his own limbs he's certainly still having some trouble but no he's, he did a backward jump the backward jump, one of many popular tactics in the Sumo Tari Dream Wrestler um, Ultimate Fighting uh, Tournament. Let's see here. The blue guy still standing strong, waiting for the the gray guy to maintain his balance, and he tactically falls in order to allow the gray guy to to stand closer to the edge, which ultimately is the goal of this tournament to push your opponent over the edge all well for them to walk over it by themselves so that is one point for the blue box man and zero for the gray let's per let's take round two here oh this is some classic bitch fight moves he uh, was clawing at him with his nails and everything and it oh a little jump there once again that that's just beautiful I'm telling you in the 20 in the 25 years I've been I've been commentating over these tournaments I have never seen anything as beautiful as this blue guy's ability to intimidate his opponent into just flopping around all over the arena now the blue guy is slowly but tactic tactically approaching his enemy trying to to stand up gain some balance while the white guy or the gray guy sorry is exploring the terrain which is having a lot of difficulty maintaining his balance in the blue guy seems to be imitating the white guy's retarded chromosome lagging um, oh no what's this he did the jump I've never seen a rookie do some a, a tactic that evolved okay and we saw some classic bitch fight moves here I think they just spooned a little the contestants here um, you know sumo tori wrestlers really do have uh, tough luck with love so sometimes you you gotta take what you can find and in this case it's a big gray square man who, uh, oh oh my god they're getting closer to the edge the two contestants here this is getting wild the oh and a little tactical jump there he it seems the blue guy is trying to get behind the gray guy in order to not get close to the edge the crowd is going wild this is the final moves of the battle you see some classic bitch moves here and the, the blue guy loses his balance oh this is a drawn out match you guys this is going down in history oh no it seems the, the gray guy is intimidated by the blue guy's stature and yes he just walked off the arena that's two points for the blue guy and the first round goes to the blue guy the second arena now the kitchen party a very feared arena one in which not a lot of contestants has survived so let's see how the blue guy fares against two computers Oh. 
Yes, the kitchen. Who doesn't remember this? Oh, and the blue guy just broke the table. He's using some some weird Aboriginal tactics here. Ah, and the the brown guy is really being way too sexual here. It seems the blue and the white guy are at their home turf here because just look at the coloring schemes of this arena. The blue guy, we have no idea what he's doing. Oh yeah, yep, he is pushing the brown guy. But the white guy is just flopping around by himself. The blue guy seems to be doing some kind of ritual on the floor now. Getting up. We need to break down this terrain, guys, to move on. This is growing very stale, very quick. You are going to lose all your stamina. Please keep this fight going. I think the blue guy, yep, the blue guy is going for the edge, trying to break through the terrain. But no, it's simply too strong, the material. Nope, he did it. There has been a breach. There has, and the white guy is trying to get some action here. But what he doesn't realize is that the blue guy draws all his power from the sexual tension. The brown guy seems to be very lonely. The blue guy seems to be wanting nothing else but to mingle with the blue contestant. Now we're getting very close to the edge. The contestants here have to be very careful. They m must treat this with the utmost respect. It seems the blue guy is now faced in a, in a doggy position. It seems he's he's stuck. It seems he is getting some assistance by the white guy here. Oh yes, he broke free. Now the blue guy here will attempt to do a slight jump back up into the arena and see how the fight plays through. But it didn't quite succeed the way he thought it would. Now the brown guy seems to have simply just turned off one of his brain halves, and uh, he is simply operating on his instinctual primitive brain now this guy this fight is getting very still the blue guy is getting immensely close to the edge watch out blue guy uh, and the blue guy loses one point that's one point to the opponent and zero to the blue guy now the blue guy will try to do a jump here he is jumping all over the place seems yep it seems the blue guy is walking over to the edge but the brown guy will not let him be let's see here he's trying to break this terrain and he did so w with the help of the brown guy who seems to be having some mild autisms actually let's see here blue guy is getting up ready to yep yep it seems it seems he's He's targeting the rectal cavities of the of the brown character here. Oh, the white, the gray character here is really doing some damage. The blue guy is having trouble maintaining his balance. This is not expected of a, such a prestigious sumo tori wrestler. It seems he's getting himself ready to push the white guy. He's simply camping here. This is not very tactful or chivalrous of the blue character what is he doing the white guy is flopping just a little more and it seems yep the blue guy has changed his targets to the brown guy he almost managed to push him all the way off the arena it seems the blue guy is very exhausted from all this and the gray guy just tried to sneak a taste of his penis not very tactful and he just slapped his ass too what is going on gray character it seems one of the sumo tori wrestlers has discovered his sexuality in the ring and he's simply trying everything he can to maintain physical contact with the blue guy this is beautiful ladies and gentlemen love has been found in the ring the blue guy seems to be totally exhausted from their sexual from the sexual tension earlier the brown guy has simply had enough of this he figured nope this is simply too homosexual I cannot participate in this anymore my code of honor does not allow me to participate in this and the characters just seems to be flopping all over I think this is a definite victory for love and so right now the opponents one point love one point and the blue boxed character 
zero points this is not looking good for the blue box character you ladies and gentlemen he's walking to the edge slapping his own head and falling it seems he's very frustrated from all that sexual tension in the earlier round he, he doesn't seem focused at all this is not the kind of battle you would expect from such a prestigious character he has earned a lot of trust and honor in the sumo tori in the sumo tori community but right now he is simply he is spent after all that uh, oral sex in the previous round he just did an extremely dangerous move jumped back in order to trying to topple the gray guy and it seems he's jumping once more the brown guy seems a little confused as he's flopping around and the gray guy just figured if I can't have the blue guy I won't have anything. The gray guy has retreated, he has thrown the towel in the ring and right now it's up to the brown and the blue guy to decide the victor of this match. Now this is a very important match. This is the last round that will be fought and the final battle if the blue character wins will be decided against the 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 gray character and the brown oh wait nope it seems the blue character just retreated oh well that's how it goes if you involve love in your arena in your battles you ultimately have a lot of trouble Seems the blue character wants some uh, some roof dancers. Yes, let's let's go to roof dancers. Yes, see how he fares against three computers. Okay, this is one of the most feared maps in Sumo Tori Wrestling. Let's see here. Every character has fallen down. The 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 green guy went last, which really speaks lengths of his ability in the ring. Now the Wu guy is a little disoriented and trying to get back to the rest of the fight. The green character as well is fighting and the, gr the brown character just got bitch slapped into next month. Okay let's see here, it seems the blue guy is going for his previous nemesis and lover, the grey guy. Let's see how this goes. He tried some very stressed uh, bitch fight tactic here let's see okay so half of the characters are just flopping around let's let's see what we can do to the oh the brown character just got pushed in the chest he is now flopping around on the floor and i think we have yes we have two contestants standing up the cameras the cameramen here are really not getting paid a lot of money which it in turn explains the, the lack of quality in this uh, in this tournament when it comes to recordings now the blue guy here he just got pushed back like he was a piece of paper well he was really made of card box but it seems the green guy here suffering from depression yep he just committed suicide now the blue guy is trying to get back in the fight he cannot let the brown guy take his former lover the great guy so uh, He's pushing the gray guy, the gray guy, in frustration. It seems the gray and the blue guy are teaming up against the black guy here. The white guy just doing a, a very uh, frustrated little bitch fight move here, and the white guy, he's not really sure if he wants to live or die. He was just around about to walk over the edge, and uh, here. This is getting really intense, ladies and gentlemen. The entire arena is holding its breath. We have no idea how this is going to end, but one thing is for sure, it is not, and I repeat, not going to be pretty. This is the final showdown, the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. Now the blue guy is trying to get away from the edge here getting chased by the brown guy almost tricked the brown guy to walk off the arena now everyone seems to be chasing the blue guy the blue guy simply just wanted some distraction so he could get some distance between himself and the edge now he is returning ever so forcefully and fearlessly into battle pushing the brown guy but falling in the attempt 
Now the white guy seems disoriented. He is walking away from the fight and stumbling on um, on some textures over there. Let's see the brown guy depressed. I, d I don't know what's happening today, ladies and gentlemen. The sumo chori wrestler seems to have a lot of personal issues that they take into the ring. Now this is not healthy at all and does not promote sportsmanship to the least. Now that was a very powerful push from the blue guy we saw that right there. This It's really, really obvious that this is the last round of the Sumo Tori 2014 Wrestle Tournament. Now, let's see here. Oh, oh, that is a dangerous jump from the blue guy right here. But oh, it's actually a successful tactic. He has maintained to get a spot right behind the gray guy. Now he's trying to get a better stance and ready himself for the gray guy to stand up. But in the attempt he felt and smelled the butt crack of the gray guy. Now let's see here. Let's see here. Oh, he pushed the gray guy even further to the edge. And it seems the gray guy has lost balance. He is falling over and the victor is the blue guy. Ladies and gentlemen, the tournament is over the victor of the 2014 sumo tori dreams wrestling ship is the blue guy excited from this victory he does a, a massive massive smile on his box head oh my god ladies and gentlemen i think i just ejaculated more than four times in the last two seconds i've never seen anything as beautiful as this this was tested on party animals and that's the only reason we actually are here today but this was this was just the most beautiful sportsmanship i have ever seen there was a whole lot of suicide and problems that the sumo tori wrestlers dragged into the match it was unfortunate but that is how it goes and uh, this was beautiful ladies and gentlemen i really hope you enjoyed this tournament that is everything for today and um, until next time my name is Arika it's been a pleasure see ya